Okay, so my first time trying to prepare escargot. Bought this thing at Walmart. Comes with a dozen snails, canned snails. <clears throat> From the instructions, it says just rinse the shells with boiling water. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse the snails once I put them out of the can too. I don't know if they're still gonna be slimy or what. Forgot to record me in the process of finally chopping up the ingredients. Um, online it asks for shallot, garlic, somewhere in between there, and parsley, but I don't like parsley. So I substituted it for cilantro. Maybe because of my Mexican roots. But anyway, uh, I call myself Chef El Mero, which means the one, but my wife calls me Chef El Menzo. Anyway, let me prepare this stuff, I'll pause this video, I'll get back to you. Alright, so, we're getting one ingredient here, we need butter. It's a dozen snails, remember, so you can... Uh, be generous with the butter I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and clog my arteries <laughs> kinda looks like vanilla ice cream and one more scoop Then you add the veggies. Can you hold the phone right here, baby? Mix it all together. And that's how you make the sauce for the snails. Butter, garlic, cilantro. Alright, so I have rinsed the shells in boiling water. I don't have the fancy escargot tray, so I got a little mini muffin pan. I also got the snails here. I almost called them oysters, they look like oysters. So, what you do is you grab one snail, put it in the shell. far in the shell but I'm going to force it to where I can't pull it out you grab your butter sauce just stuff it in there like that do that 12 times till you're done with all 12 and then put it in the oven at 400 degrees for 10 minutes. Alright, so there's all one dozen snails stuffed in the shells with the butter mix. I don't know if she has another friend, um, but she shares these. What I did is shove the butter in as much as I could. You want to let the uh, snail marinate. It's about to go in the oven for 10 minutes. And I'll let you know how it tastes. Alright, so the snails are done. You know they're done. After 10 minutes you'll hear the butter bubbling and sizzling. Uh, like I mentioned before, I don't have the snail tray. I don't have snail tongs either. So I'm using salad tongs. I think they work pretty good. 
You also need a snail fork, uh, which I don't have, but I got this handy dandy little pick thingy here. I should be able to How many to be to yank it. Uh, I don't even remember where I got this, but it comes in handy. <laughs> I use it for everything. But anyway, grab one of the shells. Don't touch it with your hand because it's super hot. A little fishy for the snail. Really, really hot. What it looks like uh, kind of hot for me to put it in my mouth right now but I'll let you know how good it was there you got there you have it snails <laughs>